All right, so we're gonna go to this homestyler.com website. You can type this into your browser. You're gonna have to make an account using your Austin Achieve Gmail email. Okay, once you've done that, then you can go to this screen, click Start Designing. So we're just waiting it for, for it to load here. We're gonna bring up the screen here. You can either click on the demo, any demo projects that the website might have, any design templates it might have, or any of your designs that you saved. Here we're gonna click on Create New Design. So on this screen, we have our typical, you know, if you wanna open a, a new design, um, if you wanna save this design, uh, you're gonna use you're gonna have these undo and redo buttons these are gonna be useful where we create any mistakes so make sure you use these okay these are gonna be your friend For the most part you can measure um, by distance or maybe add some color using that brush you can check some of the designs using some of these buttons but for the most part we're gonna be using this create room button I'll show you in just a bit you also have this avatar in here I'm gonna zoom out just a bit. This avatar, we can rotate him around. On this screen, we'll be able to see what the actual interior of our house is gonna look like. Out on the left side, we have a couple buttons where we can add this building, but it's gonna add some doors, some windows. You can add railing or roofs. So these are some really cool stuff we can add. This catalog button has a little couch on there. It's gonna add furniture. So you can add furniture for your kitchen, your dining room, your bedroom, whatever it may be. This style button's gonna change. You can add different floorings, different types of tile. Um, you can add some wallpaper to the walls. Uh, you can change the walls colors. So this is really cool stuff to use. Once you've created your house, this is really where you're gonna really um, add some color, some style to your house. So for now, I want to make sure I'm going to save this, so I'm just going to write out template up here. I click enter. It's going to save. I'm going to click save as well just to double check that it is saving. So it is saving my design as template. Make sure you click save. Awesome. So now we're going to click on the create room and we're going to click on the draw room button. I'm going to click somewhere out in space um, and I'm going to create a room. I can toggle back and forth to see, to just manually create a big room. Um, I can type in certain numbers. Let's say I want my, this, uh, what's currently hiding at blue, that length. I want it to be 24 feet. I can type that in. Make sure to include the foot marker as well, right? It has, it's at one dash. So I click enter. It's going to make it that size. Now it's highlighting the, the length right from the top to the bottom um, of the screen. I'm going to change that 25 to 29 feet. I'm going to click enter as well. And now we have our the outer show of our house made. So today we're going to be making a two bedroom by one bathroom house. I'm going to highlight how to create the outer walls. And then I'm going to let you kind of play around how to add the doors, how to add any other of the appliances and any other things you might need in a house. So we've created the outer shell. Now, in order to create the inner walls of my first room, which is gonna be on the bottom left side of our house, I'm gonna click on the by center button. That means that I'm gonna create a wall by the center of the wall. So I'm gonna click out in this space and for this case, I'm not really gonna pay attention to the measurements just yet. The reason being is because once I've created this room, I can go ahead and manually change this. I can go ahead and change the size of this room. So notice how I still have this create room button. It's blue, it's still clicked. So I'm gonna press the escape button on my keyboard. Once I do that, there's no object, no tool selected. Now I can go ahead and change these walls. I can move my guy around here. And notice how you can tell how this room has been created, how these walls have been created out in this window. So I'm going to click on this wall. And now I can go ahead and 
I'm going to make sure that this length here is going to be 12 feet. So I'm typing that in, click in there, I'm click enter. Now I'm going to make sure this length of this room is also 12 feet. Great. So now I have a 12 foot by 12 foot room up in the corner of the house. I'm going to do the same thing for the back corner of the house. So I've created a room. It's still not 12 by 12 feet. I'm going to press escape again, making sure that's not blue. Then um, I want to change this value, so I'm going to grab this wall. I can either move it up and down, but I have a set length I want to make this. So I'm going to click on the length here and type in 12 feet. I click enter and it's going to make this, this room 12 by 12 feet. I have this space, this hallway in the middle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make this into my bathroom. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a wall right here. And you might be asking, well, if I create a wall, how am I going to get into the bathroom? And we're going to add doors later on to this. But for now, I just want to create that wall. Notice how I'm still, I've created this wall, but I still have this tool selected. So it wants to create another wall. In order for me to get exit out, remember, click escape. Now I'll back out. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the kitchen on this upper right hand side. So I'm creating, I'm pressing my create room button. I'm pressing by center and then I'm creating this wall and I'm just connecting it from this point down to this point. Again, press escape. Okay. So I'm moving my guy out of the way. What I'm going to do here is I want an opening here, right? You can't, this is going to be our living room back in this corner. And in order to signify that, I'm just going to click on this room. It's going to bring up this property menu on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to click on this button and it's going to bring down this menu. I'm going to click on the living room. I want to make sure I know, hey, that's going to be my living room. So you might be asking yourself, how am I going to get into the kitchen? What I'm envisioning for this is just an opening, a wall opening. What that is, is I'm going to click on the building button out on the left side of the screen. And I'm going to click on wall opening here. So it's going to give me all these different types of wall openings, these hallways, these passageways that we can add to the house. And I'm going to click on just a regular, this regular size one. So notice how as I am sliding it into this wall, it's also appearing on my render on this screen to the right. So I can click there. I want it on that wall. If I want to make this larger, this opening larger, I can. If I want to make sure there's no wall, I can do that too. So I'm going to make it about this wide. Um, if I didn't have this wall initially, then it would not have split this space up into two different rooms. So I want to make sure to add a wall and then add a wall opening. The main reason is so I can split these rooms into two and I can mark this room like, hey, it's not just unnamed space, it's going to be my kitchen. Okay, so in a similar fashion, I'm going to see how it's still clicked on wall opening. On the side, I'm going to click on this building button. I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to click on doors. It's going to bring up all sorts of doors. I want to be specific and I'm going to click on swing doors. These are just your old fashioned doors that swing open. I can add all sorts of types of doors any that I want. I'm going to click on this one for now. Okay, so I want to create an opening for my top left bedroom. So if I place it towards that wall, it's going to want to add the door in there. These buttons here, excuse me, these buttons here are going to rotate and switch what side the door is going to be on. And then what, how does it open? Does it open towards the inside or the outside? You can also move these a little bit apart in order to make that door smaller or larger as needed. 
I'm gonna click enter and make sure I want my door there. Great, now it's added. I'm gonna repeat this process for this door, sorry, for this bathroom and this bedroom as well. Okay, I'm not gonna show you on screen, just make sure to follow that as well. These are gonna need doors inside to get inside those bedrooms and bathrooms. So now, I'm gonna start adding some appliances, some furniture. I need to start adding furniture to the living room, the kitchen, and for the most part, I just want you to add the things you might need, a fridge, an oven, um, a sink, right? For this case, I really don't want you to spend too much time adding all those little nice intricate things. We're gonna have another project that's gonna use that. For now, I really just want you to be able to um, to make this template out, make this bedroom, um, this sorry, this house out, and then we can um, we can really deck it out later. Okay, so in order to finish this, I need to add this door here, this door here, add some beds into these bedrooms, maybe a TV in here, a couch in the living room. Okay, and this is all going to be done through the catalog button out on the left side of the screen. So if you want to go into the living room, click on the living room button, click on seating if you want to add a couch, maybe a sofa, you can. So let's say I just want a nice little cushion. Now it's going to create a cushion button out here. Let's say I want it out closer to the what our entrance of the house is going to be. So notice as I, as I toggle my person around, here I'm gonna click this button to go into full 3D mode. I can move, I see how I added this like sofa thing on there. I can move it, I can rotate it by clicking on this button. It rotates around. I can move it if I click on this button and just kind of drag it around. I could put it anywhere I want in my living room. Okay, this is how you're gonna add the rest of your um, of your furniture so you're gonna have some time to finish this house um, make sure to add a door a main door somewhere in this vicinity and then just add as much appliances as you can okay let me know if you have any questions